the first case which we assume is let a particle be projected from a horizontal surface let the particle be at this position at some instant of time t equals to let that be the, that that time be the initial time that time let it be t is equals to 0 and let the particle be projected in this direction from the horizontal surface with some velocity u making an angle theta with the horizontal our first task would be to find the equation of motion is equation of the trajectory of the particle and let us prove that that is a parabola now let the particle at any instant of time be at this position given by x comma y to start with let us assume that the position at which the particle starts let it us assume that to be the origin so the x coordinate at any instant of time now we since we know that the horizontal motion and the vertical motion can be treated separately let us write what is the acceleration in the x direction that is equals to 0 what is the acceleration in y direction that is equals to now okay talking of the sign convention first let us assume this direction to be positive and this direction to be positive now so since the acceleration of the particle is in the negative direction in the opposite direction uh, so I will write the acceleration to be minus g okay so the velocity at any instant of time of the particle in x direction it will be given by ux is equal to u cos theta now since it has no acceleration in the x direction so this is the equation of the acceleration in the x direction so the position of the particle in uh, in the x direction will be given by simply u into the time since it's a uniform motion that is equal to u cos theta into time now since the motion in y direction is a uniformly accelerated motion by our knowledge of kinematics in one dimension we can write y as u y t plus half into acceleration that is equal to minus g in this case into t square right now the initial move, uh, velocity in the y direction is given by u sin theta t minus half g t square the value we can now put the value of t from this equation and we'll get y equals to u sin theta into x by u cos theta minus uh, g by 2 x by u cos theta from this it is clear that it involves a quadratic in x and a linear term in y in a single term in a uh, y is in powers of 1 so this is the equation of a parabola and we can write this as y equals to this is what this u gets cancelled x tan theta minus gx square by 2u square cos square theta this is the equation of the trajectory of the particle you can easily derive this but it's better to remember this formula because this formula may be used in many problems later now this expression can be simplified in terms of the range of the particle okay. now let us find out the time the particle takes in coming to the ground again the, the time the particle takes to come to the ground again is known as the time of flight of the particle so at this if, if I can consider this starting position and the ending position the displacement of the particle in the y direction is 0 so the displacement of the particle in the y direction is 0 they are, and the initial velocity I know it's u sin theta the time let the time of flight be t minus half times gt square from this it's clear that the time of flight of the particle is t u sin theta by g now in this time the particle reaches here so it covers a horizontal distance given by this or rather which is called the range of the particle so the range is 
u cos theta is the velocity in this direction and the time of flight is given by this so it will be equal to u cos theta into 2u sin theta by g or that is equal to u square sin 2 theta by g so the range of the particle is given by u square sin 2 theta by g it's better you remember this formula and the time of the flight of the particle is given by 2u sin theta by g now let's come back to the equation of trajectory of the particle in the equation of trajectory of the particle which was given by x tan theta minus gx square by 2u square cos square theta i could take out the term x tan theta from this part and i'll get 1 minus gx cos theta by 2u square sin theta cos square theta right now from you know uh, from you know that this range is given by u square sin 2 theta by 2 theta by g so you have u square sin 2u square sin theta into cos theta well, uh, this cos theta will cancel you have u square sin uh, u square sin theta cos theta into 2 this is equal to u square into sin 2 theta by g that is equal to r this call this here it was cos theta here, here you have cos square theta so you will get cos theta first so you have gx by 2 u square sin theta cos theta now u square this 2 sin theta cos theta is is sin 2 theta so you have u square sin 2 theta by g that is equal to r so you will get you will get a simplified expression for the trajectory of the particle given by x tan theta 1 minus x by r this is a simplified expression for the equation of trajectory of the particle so this was regarding the equation of trajectory of the particle we now move on to the instantaneous velocity of the particle at any instant of time t. Uh, 